What will happen if one of New Zealand's most poisonous volcanoes will erupt again? We are on Tuhua, or also known as Mayor Island, which is in New Zealand and about three hours boat ride north of Tauranga, which is um, on the North Island of New Zealand. Tuhua is a marine volcano, um, and more specifically, it's a pearl alkaline volcano. These volcanoes are characterized by having really high sodium and potassium contents, and even more so, really high contents of halogens, meaning chlorine, fluorine in their magma. These elements will also be within the ash, and as soon as they fall on the land, um, we've got this process we call leaching, which means those elements will go into the soils and onto the crops and will also affect the livestock. So we know from volcanoes that are far less what we dramatically call poisonous, that they kill um, livestock, that they kill vegetation, that, um, for example, in Vanuatu, it can cause um, diseases for the people. The reason we came to Tuhua is because it's unique for New Zealand as the only peralkaline volcano that we know from the top of volcanic zone. And we don't actually know that much about this island and we don't know much about the eruptive history. And how what we can see is that we've got all types of different eruptive styles ranging from effusive lava flows like the ones behind me to really highly explosive eruptions that produced thick pyroclastic density currents. But we don't know what the magma actually does over time or what we can expect from a new eruption. Will it be more effusive? Will it be more explosive? Um, what will be the environmental impact of it and what are the areas potentially affected by it. What we've been doing here is actually um, yeah, pretty cool. We've been doing a lot of tramping around the bush. Um, we fought trees, landslides and heavy rains and we're basically running around all over the island collecting as many rocks as possible. We tried to get a good overview of all the different rock types we could find and get our hands on, starting from this beautiful obsidian that we can see just behind me, to pumice deposits, to some lithic material, um, to ashfall, to more crystalline ones, to charcoal. We took, also took water samples to see what the um, system does at the moment. Um, to understand where the differences are. So the main purpose of this project is really to understand um, the chemical history of Maya Island slash Chihua. And so we took tons of samples that we gonna crush up, powder, mill, cut in order to make thin sections, but also glass disc to do ge some geochemical analysis on them to get an idea about all the elements, especially the halogen contents within the melt. 